The Govi permanent outdoor lights are absolutely awe-inspiring. I mean, Govi has come up with some pretty compelling products over the years, but these are on a whole other level. Govi has gone from being the perky little upstart looking to disrupt the market away from the incumbent Philips Hue to absolutely dominating it. For years now, fans of Govi have been begging them to make a set of decent, weatherproof outdoor lights. And finally, they delivered. The Govi outdoor permanent lights are exactly what you'd expect from the world's leading smart lighting brand. Extendable, versatile, app controlled by a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Great value, and most importantly, they look stunning. I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com Reviews. Let's switch on the lights. I mean, they're already on, but. So we were sent two packs of 100 foot or 30 meter sets to cover our house, which retail for about $300 for each 100 foot set. Now that sounds like a lot, but it works out at about three to $4 per foot. And for IP67 weatherproof permanent lighting solutions, that's actually really good. These are not to be compared to a set of fairy lights, even though I'm gonna compare them anyway. I'll tell you now, every set of outdoor lights we have ever put up here have been broken after just one or two seasons. It really cannot handle the salty Cornish air where we live. Inside each 100 foot or 30 meter pack, you'll find a long power adapter, an extension cable, and six strands of five meters or 16 feet of LEDs. Now, typically with Christmas fairy lights, you're limited in the sense that it's a fixed string of lights. And if it doesn't suit your house shape, well then, tough. In this case, the whole length of lights is divided into a number of different sections. And there's an extension cable provided. So if, for example, you didn't want to use the full 100 feet length, uh, you could leave the final section off or if you wanted to come from the top floor of your house to the bottom without having lights in between uh, to ruin the effect, you just insert the extension cable midway between sections three and sections four. However, they are still in five meter sections, so it's not suitable for say, going around a small window frame or exact lengths. You can't just cut pieces out the middle. You can also extend the kit up to 150 feet or 45 meters in total uh, as a total length. So that's another 50 feet. Either with the leftovers from another set or with the special extension kit, you can just buy the extension separately. Disconnecting and reconnecting the strings is really simple. Just unscrew the waterproof cap and then insert the plug. No concerns about polarity because you can only connect them one way. Your difficulty of installation, of course, will vary according to your house layout. I needed two full kits to do uh, just the complete roof line of our house. It's built into a hillside, so the front of our house here is mostly easy enough to reach by hand, but the rear of the house is two stories, so I figured that was a great justification to buy a scaffold tower. Then I realized I am scared of heights beyond a few meters, so I sent my wife up to finish the job on the really tall bit. Anyway, they're quite easy to attach. Just peel off the sticky pad backing and you can use a couple of cable clips either side if need be. Each LED module is quite large, about a centimeter deep and three centimeters square with a dome where the LED is. Ideally, you want them facing downwards and about an inch or three away from your walls. But in my case, that wasn't possible. We don't typically have a lot of overhang on British rooftops. So the only thing I could stick it on was the fascia boards around this side. The only complicated part is figuring out how to power them, of course. It requires an AC socket. And in my case, there's no easy ingress into the house other than through the roof. And I ended up having to cut through the fascia boards here a little. Um, just because they weren't quite wide enough to fit the full diameter of the connector plug through. It's again, it's about a centimeter in diameter, so fairly large. Once you're in though, there's quite a generous amount of cabling and a physical controller, uh, if you'd like to use that to power on or off. Or of course, you can just rely on the mobile app. In terms of visual quality, the Govi permanent lights have a definite shape to them. They aren't just a wash directly down from the light. They do have this distinctive uh, triangular profile that you can see there right next to the LED. Each LED is spaced about a foot apart and they are tremendously bright. I mean, these are so far removed from the brightness of your typical fairy lights, they can easily provide 
uh, not just effect lighting, but actual outdoor lighting. If you're having like a party or what have you, each one is like this super bright mini torch. So I was really blown away on that front. It's much brighter than I thought they actually would be. So what features do we have here? The Govi Home app is both the most comprehensive and most confusing smart lighting app I've ever come across. But to their credit, there is so much in there that it's difficult to see how else they might have done it. Now, predominantly, you'll be using the Govi Outdoor Permanent Lights in scene mode, which has a total of, at present, around 70 different scenes, including Christmas, Halloween, romantic, uh, various chase sequences, rainbow patterns like this, some more subdued, some downright coma-inducing, but no doubt a huge selection that's constantly being added to. On top of that, you can come up with some completely custom DIY scenes which there is a bit of a learning curve to admittedly, but at the very least you can just paint them section by section for a special event in your team or flag colours. If you're having an outdoor party, prepare to be blown away because they also include music reactive modes, either from your smartphone or from the device controller itself. But bear in mind if you're using your smartphone it must be over Bluetooth, can't be over Wi-Fi because it's a little bit laggy. Finally, you can hook them into the music sync box if you have multiple strips that you want to stick together. Though not the gaming sync box. That would have been fun. I did bring my PlayStation outside to try, but it didn't work. So how about energy efficiency? Govi estimates that usage of three hours a day, every day, would only cost you about $8 per year, which is amazing. Although you can probably quadruple that price for UK energy costs. So are the Govi permanent outdoor lights worth it? Absolutely. They are expensive compared to your average fairy lights, no doubt about that, but they'll last a heck of a lot longer. And don't forget to factor in your time and the hassle you'll save not having to put them up every single year or even multiple times a year. On top of that, the feature set is simply incomparable. There are no other permanent outdoor lighting systems like this that you can sync up to music so effectively as Govi, that you can remote control over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, that you can create completely custom patterns for. You can, of course, use these all year round if you want, though if, like me, you live in a designated dark sky zone, I would suggest restricting usage to special occasions only, just because of the light pollution they will inevitably make. They are so bright. It always seems kind of sad to me that we only put fairy lights up around the house at the holidays, and it's even sadder that the lights we do put up tend to be rather boring. No app control, no patterns. Also, bloody nightmare doing it every holiday. Or you just leave them up because you're lazy and they inevitably break after a year. In the end, we gave up, but these are a game changer. Do I have any complaints about them? Not really, but the shape of the light might not be to everyone's taste. It is very distinctive. And if you just want a uniform wash of color like you might get from a diffused LED strip, this might not be the solution for you. I do have one feature request though. Govi, if you're listening, if you could add a DMX control mode, that would take you from well beyond consumer lighting into stage and theater. There's a whole other industry out there waiting to be disrupted. All right, that's it from me. Thanks to Govi for single-handedly destroying Cornwall's dark sky status. Just kidding. And thanks to you for watching. I hope I showed you just how awe-inspiring uh, these lights are. Hit like if I did, or if not, head on down to the comments to let me know why. Give me any other feedback or any questions that you have. I'll try my best to respond. Until next time, I'm James Bruce. You've been watching MakeYourself.com Reviews.